Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you a bit about FaceRig Pro and kind of give my, I would say, three, four day review on having tried to use this program in some of my videos on this channel and other channels. So the program basically allows you to do what you see on screen right now, to take your webcam and to have it track your face and track your audio movements, um, to basically have these little animated characters uh, that you can actually put into uh, your videos. I'm using it with OBS right now, and my next video today is going to be showing how to actually achieve that. Um, and then with these characters, you can basically put them right into your video. You can uh, set up a green screen, effectively, in the environments here. So that would be a background green screen. You can also choose other environments. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering how the green screen works, you simply chroma key that out so that anything this specific green color gets ignored in your video. Uh, so you have a lot of options here. Um, currently, uh, FaceRig Pro, which uh, I think I mentioned, but maybe not. You can pick it up in the Humble Bundle right now. Um, pay more than the average and you get FaceRig plus FaceRig Pro. Uh, pay what you want, basically. And you have a lot of character options available here. There are some additional DLC items like uh, FaceRig 2D, which I'm actually strongly thinking of being kind of a bit of an anime nerd. Might be fun to do anime characters, which is what FaceRig 2D would be good for. Um, but basically it works the same with all the different characters. You just kind of pick them. Uh, supposedly um, in the advanced UI, I think we go down to voice effects and there's a way to set this up with uh, basically being able to change your voice so it matches the character better. Um, obviously, my voice doesn't fix, uh, fit this female character. Um, but yeah, you might be able to play around with that a little bit. I haven't gotten around to that so much. And uh, you can do things like record to a video. You can have it track your audio uh, movements, which audio-based lip sync uh, seems to be really good. It seems to be the way to go. Um, export. And I think load video as import source, I haven't tried that, but that might be able to work in some of these programs out there. Maybe I'll have to do that before I uh, do the uh, OBS video, just in case that way it's actually easier. <laughs> Would be kind of silly to not try all the options out first. So uh, one thing that you're probably going to want to see is the ability to hide the interface, because this interface will show up in your video. Uh, if you click here, you can basically have nothing here show up so much. Um, not 100% sure if the face rig was able to be gotten rid of, but uh, one way or another, you should be able to get rid of that inside of the program of your choice. If nothing else, just cut it off on the side. I, I, actually, I think it does not show up. Let me check right now. Um, okay, hide the interface. And, well, it's showing up there. But there should be a way to remove it anyway. Um, with the program of your choice or however you want to do it. So uh, let's take a look at some other things we can check out real quick. Some of these different environments uh, where if you don't have your own background, you can use one of these. And uh, actually, I do like that a lot. It seems like uh, the environment you put them in actually has an effect on the model itself. So lighting effects there. Let's, let's prove that by switching to a much brighter one. We'll see how the character looks in it. Yep. Okay, yeah, it's definitely changing the character's color. That's pretty sweet. And all the different characters, they have uh, different versions of the same one. So, kind of like skins. Uh, that's some creepy Halloween theme going on. And, of course, you have the original uh, raccoon character, who has way too many. So, let's try switching there. And they just released this new character, like, uh, literally since yesterday, because I think the last time I was in this program was one or two days ago. Get a, let's get a look at some of the other characters. So, you have this old uh, guy who kind of looks like a turtle a little bit. Tried him out once. Uh, different environments. And there's some other shot, uh, settings available in here. You can turn the quality down if you want in the graphics setting. But there's not, like, a huge amount here. Um, when I originally did try the program... Uh, I think I did need to turn the shadow map resolution or something down, or it might have just been that my computer needed a reboot, but uh, originally it was running a little bit slow, but it was able to speed up after I made some changes. So, um, that's pretty much all there is to this program. It's just a really cool way of getting cool 3D characters to appear on your video by uh, tracking your webcam and tracking your audio movements. Uh, so that if you're just doing it for fun, or maybe you want to be 
anonymous in your videos or something like that, uh, you can go ahead and do this with FaceRig Pro. So it's a pretty cool app. Uh, I think the original ver uh, the original price is uh, fifteen dollars, or the Face Rig Pro is sixty five, and then they have a couple other DLCs like four dollars for the uh, Life Two D anime character version. But um, if you pick it up on Humble Bundle right now, uh, I think the beat the average price is like six bucks. So uh, definitely do that if you're interested at all, because that's about the best deal you're gonna get. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this video on Face Rig Pro. It's a program I'm uh, enjoying a lot so far, and I'm probably going to use it more on this channel because it seems to get some good positive feedback so far. And I'll see you all in my future video content. Till then, guys.